Hey guys, Brian from Snow Walker Outdoors. Today, you know what we're going to do? We're going to practice some Dutch oven cooking. Don't go away. We're back. And uh, you know what? A lot of people think that you need to have a roaring fire and tremendous amounts of coals to have a... Uh, a Dutch oven in use and, and to, to do some Dutch oven cooking. That's just not the case. You don't need to have a big fire. All you need to have is some charcoal, charcoal chimney, your Dutch oven, and a recipe. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the charcoal, then we're going to show you the recipe. So let's go ahead and let's do that. After we get our charcoal in the charcoal chimney, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to light it from underneath. So, take that, put some newspaper in there, get out our trusty thumb drive, thumb drill there, and have at it. So now as the charcoal is getting ready to be heated up, and we're going to let that go. What we're going to do now is we're going to talk about the recipe. Today we're using a 12 inch Dutch oven. The size of the Dutch oven and the amount of briquettes that you use is a specific formula on the right temperature that you need for your recipe. Let's go take a look at it. First recipe that we're going to work on is we're going to work on the chicken. And what we have here is we have an array of boneless chicken, we have thighs, and we have breasts. And all they have is salt and pepper on them. This recipe is called Catalina Cranberry Chicken. You're using a 12 inch Dutch oven. Very simply, the ingredients for this is nothing but one can of cranberry sauce, one bottle, 16 ounce bottle of Catalina dressing, one package of Lipton onion soup mix, two cloves of garlic that have been minced, and some honey. And all we're going to do is mix it all together put it right in the Dutch oven. We'll add our garlic to it. Add a little bit of the Catalina dressing just so that we can actually get this more of a sauce consistency before we add the rest, rest of our spices. Just remember this is going to reduce down as well. It's one way to get it in there, I guess. Last but not least, don't forget our honey. About three tablespoons, that should do it. Now we're just going to layer our chicken in there. Put our lid on. Okay, so once we have our chicken and our sauce and everything is in there, we put our lid on and now we just have to wait for our coals. There is a second recipe. We want to cook this for approximately 45 minutes. So 40 to 45 minutes at a temperature of 350 degrees. There is actually a recipe or a formula 
to cook with a Dutch oven when you're using briquettes. We're using a 12 inch pan or a 12 inch Dutch oven. What you're going to want is you're going to want to have 25 charcoal briquettes. You're going to put 17 on the top and you're going to put 8 on the bottom. That's how we're going to have a Dutch oven of 350 degrees. I don't know why people don't tell you that when they actually teach cooking but all you have to do is go to the Lodge website, you can look it up, you can Google it, whatever. The recipes vary from the sizes of Dutch ovens to the temperatures that you want. Just look it up, a little scratch pad, start to think about it and add it to your recipe, and then that way you'll always know what to do. That's why it's easy to cook with a Dutch oven. Well, they actually look like they're ready. So we're going to start pulling coals out, and uh, we'll arrange them on our grill and uh, on the top of the Dutch oven. So we got our eight coals under there. Yes, there actually is an extra one. Very simple because Okay, so we have enough coals right now on the lid, and we also have enough from underneath. The uh, next thing that you're going to want to do is now, like I said, we're going to cook this for about 45, 40 minutes to 45 minutes until the chicken is done, obviously. What you have to do is periodically, there's going to be hot spots in here. That all the coals are not completely the same every which way you have it. What we want to do then is we want to pick up the Dutch oven and we want to rotate it a quarter turn about every 10 minutes 10 15 minutes and what you're going to do is you're going to rotate the lid the opposite way at the same time so you're constantly changing it it equals out and it makes everything nice and even we're going to leave some extra coals in here and then if we need to we'll add them as we go along so that's what we're doing. So now it's basically set it and forget. I have no doubt that this is done, everybody, but I'm keeping the coals whatever's left of them just in case. I need to throw them back on. Right. Got that. And what we're gonna do is sweep all the ash off. See what we got. Oh baby. Doesn't look pretty good. All right, so we're done for the evening. We're gonna go and we're gonna have dinner here. But this is just uh, a real easy way of cooking. And uh, once you get your basics down, you can make a whole host of different things in Dutch ovens and we'll probably start doing a series about it as well. Um, the recipes don't have to be difficult and you can see how easy it was to make this recipe and put it all together. So this is Brian from Snow Walker Outdoors. Thank you for your views and your comments. Until the next one, Walker Woods.